Well, this is the third time I've recorded this video. Um, hopefully this time I have audio and I've solved the problem. <clears throat> I'm going to do a couple videos that show you um, how to, as a student, move an assignment from Schoology to OneNote where they can edit it. All right, so all of you are in this course as a student. Um, so I'm in my wife's iPad here, so I can show you. Um, I created a OneNote class notebook for you um, for this course, just for practice, so you can see what it looks like. OneNote really is going to be your best option to uh, use with the students for them to be able to write and keep track of their assignments. Um, I realize there are other things out there, uh, but OneNote is free, it's accessible, and it's really not that hard. Um, we can always do another training or video to show you how to set up a OneNote class notebook. Um, that's not what this is for. Um, this one is for how students would use it inside a Schoology course, right? So the first thing you want to do is you want to go, um, regardless of whether you're on the iPad um, or on um, your desktop computer, you can only access certain elements of Schoology on uh, in a browser window right so that's where i'm starting here you can you can do this in an ipad but you can't create the OneNote notebook uh, from anything other than a browser so what i would need you to do and this is what you'd have students do after you set up your OneNote class notebook you go here um and what it's probably going to ask you to do is it's going to ask you to uh, or ask a student to log into their Office 365 account to create the notebook. Um, since this is my third or fourth try at this, that already exists. Um, normally, I would argue even inside the uh, iPad to open in OneNote better than the uh, online browser version. Um, Jens is all set up. I'm just going to take you out back here a little bit. Um, what students would see are different notebooks that have been created by their classes that are open. Um, this would create one for them. Uh, this is my Schoology training student notebook that she's in. As a student, what they would see is a collaboration space, a welcome page, um, ignore the new section one, that's my mistake. Um, and you can see up top here it says new section one is read only, right? Same with the content library, right? Kids can't write or edit anything in the content library, but they could certainly copy and paste things over into their notebook. Then a kid would see their name here, right? Since Jenny is a student in this class and you're a student, that's what you would see is only your name. A teacher would see something different. I just used, um, in creating this OneNote classroom notebook for you, I just used the four default tabs. You could use whatever you want um, in it handouts, homework, quizzes, class notes. So let's go back into the Schoology, but I'm gonna go into the app this time. Okay, so oops, I sent myself a message from her thing. Let's find my class. There it is. Okay, so what a student would see, right, is an assignment or a file. This one's in level four here for you. This one's in training class four. Um, and here's the assignment. Um, in this case, right, I have an attachment assigned to it. Um, they could also, um, many times for me, I, I'll put the PDF separately for them as well. That's just as easy. Um, I usually give my kids a variety of options. Um, you can also, um, if you are a little bit more uh, adept at uh, Schoology OneNote and Classroom Notebook, you could actually send this to their notebooks. You could skip this step as an assignment, but that's not why we're here. This is just, you know, minimally create a OneNote Classroom Notebook for the kids, give them a place to write things and submit, right? So let's open the attachment here and it opens the PDF. Kids cannot write on this at this point, right? Um, there are a couple of options, but OneNote again, I think is the easiest. So what a kid needs to do is in the upper right hand corner, you're gonna see that send to button with a little arrow, right? So you're going to send it to, okay? Um, yes, they could do any of these things. They could save it, they could send it to markup. We just don't want them to do it at this point, right? Um, I'll show you what it looks like if we send it 
two one now, but but to me the easiest and best option and the one you want to encourage the kids to do is it's not up here in Jen's big list. It's uh, in the more. We want to copy this to OneNote, okay? And then a student would have a selection of all their notebooks, right? So, you know, you want to encourage them to send it to the class you're teaching. And in, in this case, right, this is me here, okay? Um, they would not be able to send it to anything other than the folder with their name. Right. In this case, for this video, since this is the multiple times I've done this, um, we're going to send it to class notes. Right. Again, you can set up an elaborate notebook for them or you can just set up a basic one and tell them to keep it organized and this is where they're working. It's whatever you feel comfortable with. So let's just send it to class notes. It's going to give you the choice of attachment or printout. You want them to do printout. Okay, and then you'll notice here, right, under her class notes tab, it's there, right? I'm going to send it there. I'm going to do this one more time on the iPad. Uh, I'm going to do one little thing that's different just to kind of show you why um, I like the copy to function other than just the straight OneNote. So again, the send to button in the upper right corner, right? If you just, if they just hit the OneNote, it's going to look a little bit different, right? This is where they make sure they send it to the place they want to send it to, right? There's the student's name. We're gonna send it to the same place, class notes. It's good to go, send. Okay. Now, if we go over there, what you're going to see is the folders now, down, now there, right? Um, side note, if a couple of you are waiting for anything to pop up, um, you always just wanna pull down on the screen depending where you are it will update sections. Um, this is where it is syncing to the online notebook. This notebook does not reside on their iPad. It resides on the cloud. If you pulled this one over, which I don't want to do right now, it would update that. But this would update all of their all of their notebooks. Okay. So if we look at the second way I did it, you can see it's just the file. It's easy enough, right? So you press and hold the file, right? You can see the options there and you hit print out and voila, it appears. Okay, I'm gonna do another one to kind of show you how to write on this uh, in a moment.